I feel like Vitafly gonna recap this and say God he caught a 30 on the dime roll. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. That one was crazy out of the game. Sometimes that's Peter, nobody that knows body. Hit his area with 51. Everything in the Vitafly. We used to rap it like that. Alright, bitch, 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 I'm about my cheese, but I wanna be hot, kill Chucky. You think your bitch clean, ain't got no bag, so she still ugly. Got her out the mud with my thugs, working real ugly. My old bitch got a nigga, won't stop calling. That bitch still like. Happen, I deja vu it. Point blank, in the middle of your face, I shoot it. That's led to the center drugs, like the K9 unit. Yeah, yeah, whoa, you already know what to do and what it does, so you ain't gotta ask what it was. Salute to the subscribers. That notification gang, ricegangclothing.com for the merchandise. You heard me right. So I want to jump this one off. Like, I got a couple of recaps I'm going to do today. My man Showtime SP is at work, so we'll probably talk. But, you know, they, they, they want this sooner. You know what I'm saying? They don't want to wait. I, don't, I know how y'all do. I don't, I don't want to do that. So uh, let's start it off with rum, nitty versus drugs. Uh, obviously, this is a battle that a lot of people felt like Drugs didn't have a chance in, drugs was going to get smoked, whatever the case may be. Uh, drugs wasn't supposed to be on the card. I, I seen and heard all of the chat, you know what I mean? But uh, I will say this, in this battle, uh, drugs came into it kind of knowing he was the underdog and it was a shot for him. Um, I, Rum Nitty has another battle today versus LL Cool G in Milwaukee. This man literally pulled up to the event, lead a car running. I'll be right back. Goes in, has a battle, and um, does what he does. Uh, Drugs had a lot of energy. Uh, both MCs got through all three of their rounds. Clean, clear. You know, um, Drugs, he, he started off, he was talking about the, uh, you know, the fucking, you know, the 12. I give you this 12 step. You know the shit that Rum Nitty said in the previous battle. Um, overall, he had some, he had a lot of energy in his rounds. He talked about, uh, drugs talked about being compared to Twerk, uh, being, and then he started saying that Rum Nitty should be compared to him, or whatever the case may be. But he showed a lot of potential, that's what I will say. Um, Rum Nitty in his rounds, he literally was like, his punches? He was punching crazy, like, but he was just like, uh, this is another day at the office type shit. Like, Rum Nitty was literally just having crazy flips where he's just going through all, and we already knew that Rum Nitty, how he do with the drugs flips or whatever the case may be, but um, Rum Nitty's first was fire. Drugs first was fire too, and to me, that'll probably be the round that a lot of people debate the most, you know what I'm saying? Like, that will probably be the round. Let me see what it said. Um, I'm just, I, I'm seeing if I had anything. Um, so, Rum Nitty had a line um, in one of his rounds. Um, Steve Kerr, the goat puncher. Like, Steve Kerr, the goat puncher. That These are the type of lines that Rum Nitty comes up with almost effortless. Listen, I'm Steve Kerr, the goat puncher. He said, you know, you want to start it because he was talking about Steve Kerr swinging on Michael Jordan when they got into their fight. Uh, led to the center, like the K-9 unit. He was talking about drugs getting led to the center. You know, the dog, the K-9. Oh my goodness. Uh, we all seen your arm strong, but you ain't land on moon. He just basically was like effortless in his rapping. And while many people uh, hate drugs or whatever the case may be, you know, and he's he's doing what he does though, you know what I'm saying? Like he's getting his shot, and I don't feel like he wasted his shot versus Rum Nitty. Um, he did his thing. First round's debatable. I got Rum Nitty winning the second and third. To me, clearly, uh people are gonna debate the first. Overall, Rum Nitty, um, he did his thing. But the man has another battle in the same day. Like, when you start rapping like that, when you start rapping like that. Um, short card, overall it was a short card, three battles long, um, Rum Nitty, Drugs was a good way to start off the night, um, Drugs was swinging for the fences though, you know, and, he, and, and when you're in that situation that you're in, you have to swing for the fences, you have to give it your best effort, and I ain't gonna lie, after the first round, I was like, yo, this, this shit might be more of a battle than a lot of people thought. But when you're counted out by damn near everybody, the only thing you can do is excel or try to bounce up and make the shit better than it was supposed to be. While I did say in the blog earlier that Rum Nitty had to get a 30 or it was going to be, you know, whatever for him, I didn't know that he has another battle today. So that, to me, comes off the table. And I know y'all like, oh, well, he, he scheduled the battle, so 
It's his fault for doing it. If he's going to do that and bring us another battle today, it's not going to be. I think it's on a pay per view. It's against LL Kuji. It's in Milwaukee. It might be on another pay per view. If he pulls through and has another clear three rounds in the same day, that shit will be crazy. Um, but it was just like going through the motion for Rum Nitty. You know what I'm saying? He's just going through the motion, punch for punch, the Baphomet, the battle rap, the bar goat. You know what I'm saying? Like he was just gun line king today. Um, they, but he, but the fact that he had another battle was what surprised me the most. Overall, um, Drugs is probably going to get some props for people for surviving. You know what I'm saying? Like he survived the battle. To me, it's kind of Gentleman 30-ish. You know what I'm saying? It's almost Gentleman. To me, it's a Gentleman's 30. I, I got uh, Rum Nitty. Just levels. It's just, it's just levels. Um, but the first will probably be debated. Uh, and I could see some people even giving drugs the first round and if you do that, you know what I'm saying? There's nothing wrong with that because the young man came out and he fought, you know what I'm saying? Regardless of how you or anybody may feel about him, he did come out and fight and I think that's the biggest thing. That's the thing that a lot of the younger guys could take from this. When you get a shot, you have to make the most of it. You can't come in there playing around or some bullshit because if you fuck around and get smoked, it's going to be like, yo, you had no business there anyway. So. Um, I will give him that much. Um, when you see it again, um, you'll probably find some more joints he had here and there. Um, first round for sure though. His first round, he definitely um, had some bars, man. He had some good nitty flips or whatever the case may be. Um, he had, it, it, it wasn't bad. I'm going to just say it like this. It wasn't probably what people expected. People probably thought he was going to like get body bag, drugged and zipped out of there, literally. Um, but Nitty definitely was was quick to show the levels in writing, you know what I'm saying? Like the levels in, in writing, like his movements, his, his energy and everything was there. And I definitely dug it. Um, I think that uh, he needs to continue on that path. And I respect him for giving a shot, you know what I'm saying? Like that's the thing, like um, I do respect the shot, but it came at a time where a lot of people was expecting to see him versus Hollow and to see him versus Daylight and things like that. But so for him to be given a shot was well, kind of different, but um, I must say salute to Rum Nitty, you know what I'm saying, Drugs did his thing too. Um, there will be people who feel like Drugs got the first round and, um, you know, hopefully he continues with that energy and continues to move on. He even said in the battle, like, you know, I'm the underdog, they're going to pick you to win on the app anyway. Like, he already knew. He already knew what it's doing what it does. He already knew that they're going to pick him to lose anyway. But on the voting system, they had uh, Rum Nitty winning anyway, so I mean... Ultimately, I'm not, you know what I'm saying, saying nothing that ain't none of y'all gonna know, you know what I'm saying? Like, when the shit comes out, for those who didn't see it, uh, it's literally like this. First round, wild action between the two. Um, second round and third, to me, I got Rum Nitty win. Um, I don't, I, when my man Showtime SP comes through, we'll, uh, we'll get with it and we'll see how he feels about it. But to me, um, Drugs didn't get like super murdered. I've seen people get body bag drug out of battle So it's like oh my goodness like what the fuck is he doing up there at least with this one? It could be made sense of like, you know, this is why this battle happened and I mean hey, we'll, we'll see where it goes. You know what I'm saying? Um, Rum Nitty is the bar is the, is the bathroom met. This is what he does for a living like he does this type of shit punch for punch for punch for punch This is what he do and there should be no surprise in anything that you saw today. I wouldn't be surprised because this is what this man does. I mean, lines, bars, punches, haymakers. And um, in that small room, he gonna be very hard to stop. Chilla Jones is gonna be very hard to stop. There's some MCs that in this type of room, this type of setting and environment, they're gonna be hard to stop, man. And, and them shits was coming. Line after line after line. And I mean, like I said, drugs first round. I'm not gonna take no cut off of it. He did his motherfucking thing. Uh second and third, second was straight, third was cool, but Rum Nitty to me, his craziest rounds was the second and third. And his first was good too. That's the thing. Like, there's gonna be a lot of gentlemen 30 calls on this battle, because they both did their motherfucking thing, but it's like a to me it's a it's a difference in the level of pen, like that level of writing. It's a, it's, it's a talent. It's a motherfucking talent, you know what I mean? But Rum Nitty definitely has another battle today, so uh, my, uh, my expectation for him earlier today comes off the table because this nigga really pulled up, said, I'm gonna be, I'll be right back. Ran in there, 
battle and then bounce to head to another battle. Now that is some crazy shit. Salute to the subscribers, that notification game. Bye. With no effort. Taking shots without me thinking. Usa made me thinking. My bitch crazy. Always think I'm creeping. Usa made me creeping. This blood gang. I bang it every season. Fuck what's niggas thinking. Trying to count me out while I'm still breathing. Niggas know who my team is. This bitch crazy. Or she eat a semen. They say I'm a demon. I stand tall like the Pledge of Allegiance. Leave a niggas thinking. Brain hanging out. You see what he thinking. Just give me a reason. I'ma show you all my niggas tweaking.